let's start working on question one in this video. So we have a firm that employs two people. Now both people, both employees must work from nine to six. Uh, okay, the base salary for every guy is 50 euros. Now there is a bonus that the worker can get if he works until 8 p.m. or 10 p.m. Uh, okay, the boss cannot observe how much the workers are gonna work. So the bonus is based on the conditional performance of the worker. Uh, meaning that the worker who does the best will receive the bonus when they perform equally well the probability of getting the bonus is one over two uh, okay whoever works more then then performs better now a worker will decide to work longer when the benefits of doing so exceed the cost okay uh, working from six to eight so working two extra hour costs 10 more euros worth of utility so to speak working from eight to ten cost infinitely high. Now in part A, until how late will the workers work when the bonus is equal to 15? Okay, so first of all, some highlights of the question here on the right side. This is what matters to us. It matters that we're going to work with expected values because we have probabilities here. And one more thing to understand, we have to see that uh, if we have a cost of 10 euros of working two more hours, we will consider that because now we're dealing with a cost of 10 euros versus an extra benefit of 15. So this comparison makes sense. But when we deal with a second case where the cost is infinitely high, well, infinitely high means it's probably much higher than 15. So it's not even worth to take that into account. Meaning that what we're going to do now is a decision game based on these choices, working between uh, until 6 p.m. versus until 8 p.m. So let's see how the highlights are gonna look over here. We have worker one and worker two. Now, let's suppose the first cell over here. If both of them decide to work until 6 p.m. Because recall, every worker must take into account what is the expected value of doing an action. And because there are two people, we are pretty much playing a game theory here. So if worker one and worker two both decide to work until 6, they do not incur any cost. They do not incur any cost of working additionally because they do not work additionally. They finish at the regular time. And we know that when they work the same amount of hours, the probability of getting the bonus is one over two, meaning, meaning that the payoffs over here would be one over two times the bonus for each player. So one over two times the bonus for the first player, one over two times the bonus for the second player. Now we go to the next cell over here. Let me change colors for that. We go to the next cell over here. If worker one works until six, but worker two works until eight, what happens? Well, the second guy works more, so he definitely is going to get the bonus, meaning that he will get the actual bonus, but he has to pay the cost of effort, meaning he will have a loss of utility of 10. But the first guy, he would still quit work at six, so he gets no bonus, but he also doesn't have to incur any cost of work. So the overall net score, for him is gonna be zero. Now we go to the we go to the cell over here. What happens if the first worker works until eight and the other one stops at six? Well, the opposite of this thing. The first worker will get the bonus, so he'll get the bonus and he incurs the cost of effort, but the other guy has nothing, so it would be just zero. What happens when both of them work until eight, so the final cell over here? Well, they both work the same amount of hours, meaning that the probability of getting the bonus is still one over two, so they will get one over two times the bonus, but both of them incur the cost of effort for those two extra hours. So minus 10. This goes for the first player. This goes for the second player as, as well. Now with this in mind, let's, let's put some numbers because now we're dealing with the case where the bonus is equal to 15. So what we're going to do, we're going to substitute 15 into the bonus to see the actual numbers. And then we can just play the game theory as we know. So what do we have? One over two times 15, right? We just put here bonus equal to 15. These are going to be the results. 1 over 2 times 15, that's 7.5 and 7.5 over here as well. Uh, in this cell, what do we have? We have 0 or 7 point, sorry, 15 minus 10, that would be 5. Over here, we would have 15 minus 10, that's 5 and 0. Let me put them in brackets to know that these are the payoffs, like that, hop, hop. And over here, we have 1 over 2 times 15, that's 7.5 minus 10. That's minus 2.5 and the same goes over here, minus 2.5. Now, let's, uh, let's play the game, see what the decision is going to be. Let me ch uh, choose a color for that, like that. This one, yes. So if the first guy works until six, what is going to be the choice for the second guy? Well, the choice for the second guy is based on the second cell, on the second payoff. So 7.5 is greater than five, meaning that the second guy will choose this option. 
Now, if the first worker works until 8, what will the second guy do? Well, let's see. The second guy, again, we look at the second cell. 0, 0 is greater than minus 2.5. So he will choose this option. Now we reverse the order. What if the second worker works until 6? What does the first worker choose? Well, he must choose between the, he must choose between the, first, uh, the first payoff. So 7.5 versus 5. 7.5 is higher, so he would choose this option. And what if the worker 2 works until 8? What does the first guy do? Again, we compare the first payoffs. So 0 versus minus 2.5. 0 is better, so he would choose this option. Now, where is the equilibrium over here? Well, we have two ticks over here. So that would be the equilibrium, meaning that both worker, workers work until 6. So the bonus of 15, the bonus of 15 does not make the workers put extra effort. Both workers finish, finish off at 6 both work until 6 p.m. Hope this makes sense. In the next video, we go to part B.